leaders, leaders uh, uh, don't cut ribbons. Leaders respond and react in time of crisis. This is the first crisis he had, and uh, he's, he hasn't led us through this at all. And then finally, uh, when he's in Pennsylvania and around the country saying to my fellow Pennsylvanians, uh, if you vote absentee, your votes don't count. And I just wanted to appeal to my friends in Pennsylvania, Republicans and Democrats, your votes will count. We got guardians of democracy at the local level. Uh, we know there's going to be an unprecedented number of absentee ballots, so every vote will count. Be patient. Uh, so the reason I'm doing it now is because I think there was a, an, an urgency in my head and my heart to appeal to Pennsylvanians, let the process work itself out. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure your votes are counted, but vote, vote, vote. Whether it's absentee or in person, vote. I must say, I don't think anyone should be surprised with these revelations. One, it has taken four years for people even to find this little bit of information, but this is not an individual that's transparent about anything. He promised that we'd see his, his tax returns. Uh, this is a man who way back in 2015 when I decided that, uh, and I've always thought that character and leadership, uh, I want to find out about those things before I worry about public policy. And uh, while I'm a little bit not quite as responsive, I want to go back to you and say this, this is in 2015 when I distanced myself, and he is my president. But this is a man who wanted to be president, who wouldn't release his tax returns like everybody, other candidates have done. This is a man who wanted to be president, who never served in the military, but thought prisoners of war lacked courage. This is a man who early on mocked a journalist and more importantly mocked a journalist that it was a disability. This is a man who showed absolutely no appreciation whatsoever for the religious, racial and social diversity of America and he wanted to be president and it's been all downhill since then. And so is anybody surprised when we find out that he probably hasn't paid any taxes at all? Why are we surprised?